Hey everybody, Tracy Tofty with Keller Williams. I saw a video from an agent on the East Coast talking about this and I wanted to do my own version for the West Coast. So here are our four tips for sellers when receiving a lowball offer. The first tip, don't take it personal. Very important. Buyers are entitled to come up with the price that they want to offer, just like the seller is entitled to come up with what they feel is the value of the home, with the agent's uh, information and guidance as well. The other thing is, it's important to take your emotions out of it if you're the seller receiving a lowball offer. Sometimes sellers receive an offer, they're really hurt, and they dig their heels into the ground, and it might affect them thinking objectively. The other thing is, it's important to work with an agent that really knows the comps in the area and what is sold in the last 90 days and really educate the seller so when they do receive a lowball offer, they can talk about the best way to approach it and write a counter offer. And the last thing is, is truthfully as a seller, if you receive a lowball offer and you are going to buy something, you might do the same thing. So take that into consideration and move forward with that offer and see how credible it is. The second tip, always provide a counter. This is really important. Even if it's low, you should still provide a counter. This shows the other side, thank you very much for taking the time to write the offer, but we're not exactly where we need to be. The other thing is, is buyers might be thinking, start low. I work with buyers and oftentimes they want to start low. Let's say it's listed at 500,000 and they say, you know what? I want to write an offer at 450. Well, why do you want to write an offer at 450? The comps show that it's closer to 500,000. Well, I want to start low and see where they're at. See, and you as the seller may not know that the buyer is actually willing to come up to 500,000 unless you send a counter. So it's really crucial to do that. The other thing is, is there's two rules in life. People are either looking for a deal and you never know unless you ask. So it's always important to write a counter offer. Number three, leverage the property. Let's say you get an offer and you don't like it, but the property is getting a ton of showings and you're getting other offers. I would go back, me if I was the listing agent, I would go back to that buyer's agent and say, hey, we're getting other offers. Are you thinking about bringing your offer up? Or you can also call the buyer's agents that have shown it and say, hey, I just wanted to follow up. What do you guys think of the property? We have three other offers. I'm going to be presenting on Saturday. Are you guys thinking about writing an offer? It creates a buzz and the buyers think like kind of like an auction mentality. Oh, there must be something exciting about this property if others are writing on it. And then the fourth thing is re-examine the price. It's possible the buyer's offer is low because your pricing is off. So it's important if you're getting a lot of low offers to check with your agent and see, are we priced right? Let's look at the comps again. Let's look at the value. Let's talk about it and have a conversation. You never know the price until you create the dialogue. So it's important to always discuss with your agent what the price is. If you're not getting any showings, it might be because of the price, but if you're getting low ball offers, you might have to make an adjustment. The other thing is, is the value of the home is determined by what the buyer is willing to pay. So it's really important to always check what the price of your home is and make sure that you are listed at the right point. Okay, I hope all that makes sense. I'm out of breath, that's so much information. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. If you have any questions, you can give me a call or send me a message, thanks.